How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here and I want to talk to you about backing up your PC. It is a great idea to do, especially if you have very sensitive data that you would not like to lose or data that you cannot afford to lose, photos, or it can be game files that you would prefer to save onto a drive because not everything saves onto a cloud. Now, you might run into problems if you run into some really nasty malware or if you run into other issues like system corrupted files when it comes to firmware. There is a really simple way you can back up your PC before anything ever happens. Now, this guide will show you how to back up your drive on Windows 10 and not just the files itself. In order to do that, all you have to do is go down to this window box here. You're gonna type back up and you'll see a thing called backup settings come up. Now you're gonna go to this box right here and you're gonna be looking for older backup items. Now you can go to backup and restore. Forget it says Windows 7 because it's not really for Windows 7. You're just backing up your drive that you have on your PC. Now, in order to do this, either your PC has multiple drives, just as I do. I have the C drive, which has the OS on it, and then I have a D and an E drive. Now, I can use either of those drives for backup as long as, as, as if it is the same size what I currently have for my Windows. So, that is one thing you want to check too, is you want to go to your File Explorer here, right-click this, um, right this folder, go into File Explorer, and then you're going to go into your PC. So out of this drive, I only need up to 211 gigabytes. So I could use either one. I can't use the add link because that's pretty full. So I'll use my Intel drive. And if you're doing this off of a laptop or if you're doing it off of something else, what you can also use is a portable SSD or a portable hard drive because either one will do. You can connect that to your PC and you can actually use that to back up all your files and create a image for your PC. Now, what you have to do is you go into setup backup here. You're going to go to backup files here. I'm going to go into the E drive because this has the space. So it's recommended I have 253 gigabytes. So let's free this up a little bit here. All right, so that's about good enough here. So let's refresh the drive here. We got 272 gigabytes available. So we will use this E drive. So we click next and we're gonna, you can either choose yourself or you can let Windows choose. Let's go next here and what this will do is it'll ask you if you have a system repair disk. And usually what that means is if you already have Windows 10 on a USB or if you have an optical drive where you have Windows 10 already. So that way you are able to restore your drive. Make sure to have that available. If you do have to run a system image, make sure you have a Windows 10 copy. So that way you'll be able to restore your Windows without any type of issue and we can save these settings and we can run the backup. So now it's gonna back up the files, it'll look something like this, and you just give it its time. While this does back up in itself, there are some things you have to know before you do end up restoring any of your files. Now, I do recommend backing up in more than one drive. If you have a separate hard drive, another portable hard drive or a portable SSD, make sure to save it onto that too, because just in case if some reason, for some reason, one of your drives fail, or if the data is somewhat corrupted, then you will be able to restore your windows without any problems. Now, if you ever have to do something like this, at least you'll be able to have all your files safely. You know the file, you know your Windows is in perfect condition that you don't have any issues. Make sure you do not back up any of your files if you already have malware because you're gonna end up just bringing it with you. Or if you already have corrupted system files on your PC, you will also bring them with you if you are backing up this image because it's just practically a clone of exactly what you have on your PC. And that's something you wanna make sure that you have a very good copy of Windows already. If you don't have a good copy of Windows already, you're gonna to have to end up starting Windows with a new slate or you go into system restore. If your system is already corrupted 
or if you already suspect that you already have some serious problems as it is, over here I will explain what you can do in order to fix your windows. And usually problems like this is not a big deal. It's more of a patience thing and knowing where to go in order to restore your PC in its normal working condition without any running issues. So I'll be right back. So what you're gonna need is a USB just like this and it should have Windows 10 on there. So that way you can install your image that you have created, even though it's on another drive, you just need to boot your PC into Windows 10 setup. And this is one of the easiest ways to do that. Now, as you see here, Windows 10 has been completely backed up. Now it's ready to go. So I'm gonna install this USB and then we can reboot our PC. Once you see your setup display, just make sure you press F2 or any BIOS entry method. MSI, I believe is escape. So where you're gonna go over is to the boot menu. We're gonna set the boot option number one. We're gonna set it to the Samsung flash drive, which is the USB that I have currently on. Next, you're gonna exit, you're gonna save it, and it should boot right up into that USB. Now, once your PC starts to boot up, you don't really have to press any extra keys or anything like that. Just let your PC do its thing and it will just boot into the USB. So you don't even have to worry about pressing any extra keys or anything like that. And it should boot properly into the Windows setup. So as you see, we're on the Windows menu here and we're not gonna just install Windows because if you install Windows, we all know what's gonna happen. It's gonna end up formatting and erasing everything that you have. And because you backed up an image, that is what you're trying to avoid. You're trying to avoid the hassle of reinstalling your programs, losing your pictures, losing your videos, losing your saved game files. You want to avoid everything. We're gonna click next. And you see on the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see repair your computer. So what we're gonna do is go under troubleshoot because we already know the problem that we're having. Your PC's freezing up, you're having issues, and you just want to restore the system image that you had backed up intelligently because you knew that a problem like this could occur. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna restore the image. So go under troubleshoot. And then once you get into troubleshoot, you're gonna go into system image recovery. And as you see, you're gonna see two different volumes here. You're gonna see Windows 10 on volume two, Windows 10 on volume eight. More than likely, it's gonna be Windows 10 on volume eight. And as you see, it should pop up right there on the screen for you. And what it should say is the drive that you have your PC backed up on, use the latest available system image. Use the latest available system image that you had created for your PC. And the best part is your PC will automatically back up your images once you do set it up. For example, on a default setting, it will back up your image of your PC every Sunday. So that is something that you can set or something that you can turn off and that is completely up to your discretion. All you have to do is hit next Continue to hit next. After you're finished, it will restore your PC to its former glory, and you don't have to worry about starting completely fresh again. So it is important to back up your system image because you want to avoid problems such as wiping out your PC, and nobody really enjoys that because then you gotta start all over again unless you really want to. I hope you found this guide very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else, who may run into issues or you want to just let know how to back up a system image file, just share this very video. And if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And also for all the newest updates, make sure to follow my Twitter handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fan band, guys, 
Do you back up your system images or do you use another software such as the Kronos, which is personally one of my favorites. If you would love to see a guide on that, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Miso, signing out.